They all right. Pretty much say that every time. Initial scanning of the body. Got these ribs, and in between these ribs, we've got intercostals. And the twitches in the muscle are the muscle releasing. It looks like they would hurt though, right? You know, you're like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what up? What's up? What's up? This guy's in again. Can you believe this? Why are you always broken? Because I'm trying to run like 100 miles a week. 100 miles a week. Not quite. Right now I'm at like 80. Trying to climb slowly enough not to break, but everything is always like close to breaking. How so. many hours a week does it take to run 100 miles? It's like an hour and a half a day for me. Okay, what brings you in today? Uh, it's super tight, lower leg, outside, something over here. Not really sure exactly, and then ironically, since the only thing I do is run, uh, my back is really, really tight. Okay. Where in your back? Low back, mid back, upper back? Right in the middle, right next to my spine on the right side. Okay. Only on the right side? Only on the right side. I got like a really bad cramp just sitting at my desk okay. like a week or two ago. Are you doing this? Maybe. Probably. Right side. Okay. Right-handed? You right-handed? I am right-handed. Okay. All right. So, anything else? Uh, those are the main complaints right now. This more than anything outside of this lower leg down here. Okay. Super tight Achilles kind of. So this is the one you injured on the scooter. Yeah. Ran, got my ankle smashed into it 20 miles an hour and split it open and broke things. Scooters are hazardous. Electric scooters, yeah. Be careful. Your back, does it hurt when you bend forward? No, no. It's, it's okay-ish now. It okay. was really bad for a few days last week. Yeah, just looking at the, uh rotation in his hips you can kind of see that left hip doesn't want to quite medially rotate as well i'm going to check his pelvis here maybe just a little elevated on that side kind of check the rotation here hold that foot right there for me don't let me pull don't let me pull we're just doing some strength tests here keep your foot here don't let me pull Good, one more time. Good. Grab your, your knees and pull them to your chest for me. Do you get any back pain with that? Not really. Okay, drop your legs down. And head down, go ahead and arch your back for me. Any pain? No, but it's all the muscles are like sore mm -hmm. back there. Okay. Not even tight, but kind of sore. Yeah. Keep your leg here, don't let me press it in. Good, one more time. Good, one more time. Good. Lift your head up for me. Turn your head, chin up. Don't want to press your head down. Good. Good. We're just doing some strength tests on his neck. Lie face down for me. And we're going to test your glutes. Good. Bear hug the table. I'm going to do a glute max test here. Good. Bend your knee. Good. Don't let me press down. Good. Any pain in your back? Um, a little tight on the other side. On the left side? Yep. On the on your right low back. Yeah. Okay. And the and the pain in your back is like through here somewhere? Uh, somewhere in there. Yeah. Okay. Pop your shirt off for me. Alright. Bow wow wow. You can't do that with clients. I know this client very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's loosen up your back here. Yeah, your erectors feel mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. really tight. So you can see his uh, erectors right there, his big ropey muscles. You can kind of see the lower trapezius comes down there. Uh, put your arms out in front of you like Superman. Bring him out to 45. Good, lift up as high as you can. Yeah, you can see that lower trapezius there in case you're on Jeopardy or something. All right, relax. And you have told me you have a little bit of scoliosis, right? Yes. yes. Uh, one leg that is longer than yeah. the other, or the other is short, either, however you want to say it. Yeah. You feeling anything in here? Nothing extreme. Okay. Yeah. Get the elbow in here and this QL. Usually when I say that, the client's like, what's the QL? And I say, it's the quadratus lumborum. And they say, oh. And the next time they come in, it's, oh my God, what's that? And I say, it's the QL. 
They say, oh, right. Pretty much say that every time. Tension and then QL and a lot of low back pain, but oftentimes it'll refer down into the glute. Sometimes even hip flexor pain you can get from the QL and the low back. Clients will come in and they say, oh, I've never had that muscle pushed on. If you're a body worker, don't miss out on working the QL. Just trying to get the muscles to soften up a little bit. You know, like initial scanning of the body. All the muscles just feel kind of hard. And we want them to feel kind of kind of gooey. And we've got these ribs. And in between these ribs, we've got intercostals and the lats. The slat here attaches to the rib cage. So I can take my thumb, get in between the ribs, and create space. And you can see some, some twitching there, releasing of the lats. Just trying to create space so their ribs can expand so this young lad can breathe better because he's a runner, he needs to breathe better and you can see some twitch in there like a little fish out of water Josh, what do the twitches represent? the twitches in the muscle are the muscle releasing, it's like a cable under tension and the nervous system is responding and as that muscle is twitching that cable like muscle fiber is letting go and lengthening it's like why a lot of people get dry needling or acupuncture but especially like deep needling from a quality acupuncturist or chiro PT who does dry needling there trying to get that twitch response to get that muscle to release in my opinion uh, if you get the muscle to twitch uh, it's kind of like the holy grail uh, there's the scapula there do your scapulas do that look at that thing what's cool about the scapula is the scapula is actually its own joint it's a floating joint very complex movable flexible joint your shoulders out there or not like this. How'd that feel? That wasn't too bad. Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not too bad. It looks like that would hurt though, right? You know, you're like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Gonna work his right side erectors from the left side of his body. I'm trying to push the erectors off his body. Trying to be extra careful not to hit his spine because that would not be pleasant. Right there, man. What is that? I don't know, but it hurts a lot. Yeah, that's the crab right there. Yeah. You are pretty naughty. With a K. <laughs> we got a naughty little knot here. Mm. Deep breath for me. That was the weakest deep breath I've ever heard. Did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? That's the area, right? That's it. Let's get a T-bar in there. Hmm. What does the T-bar do, John? Well, it's just a more pinpointed tool. It's just a tool, just like your thumb or your elbow, but um, it's a lot easier to get in between the muscle fibers with a T-bar or a pointed tool to kind of break up the muscle fibers. It's easier to get into really small, fine, pinpointed areas right there. More pinpointed. Mm-hmm. Just pretty much right in the lamina groove area. No, I'm not doing that. Let's test that lat again. Help a lot. Lift up as high as you can. Good. Hold for me. Hold it. That feels better, right? Much better. Dude, you know what Cobra po pose is? You know, just kind of prop up on your... This guy? Yeah. Okay, just relax. Relax your pelvis. Relax your back. Any pain there? Nope. It's another option here to kind of 
put the person so that their muscles are in a shortened position. So he's shortening his erectors. And a lot of times muscles release easier when you bring the origin and insertion closer together. So they're looser than him laying down. And if he can relax in this position, then I could come through here again. I don't think I'm gonna do much to it because it feels like we've already done a lot. Let's put some Dr. Bob's. This is um, some allspice cologne. Allspice? That's your favorite, right? You mean like Old Spice? Oh, that's right, Old Spice. Old Spice. <laughs> <laughs> Failed joke. Rapid fire. You're not doing any back modeling anytime soon, are you? Wasn't planning on it. You never know when they're gonna call. Just gonna bring some blood flow to the area. This gives me superpowers, right? Superpowers, yep. You got blister down here? Or? Uh, you can call it a blister, it's more of a gaping hole. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, uh, Achilles outside of Soleus, just that lower leg is not happy. Pretty good uh, dorsal flexion range there. Sometimes I'll check for big toe flexibility as well. A lot of people don't have very good big toe flexibility. He's got great big toe flexibility. You've been doing some work in there? Uh, yes, with the percussion massage. Maybe a little overzealous, but uh, it helps. Just not as good as the uh, sharp elbows. Yep. The J blades. You get a t shirt that says J Blades. When any of you buy a t shirt that says J Blades was here, leave a comment. <laughs> You're the man. You're the man. He doesn't even know, but if he makes it through, I'm going to give him a finisher's medal and a t shirt. Like one of those sweet tech tees that you like never wear. I give you a sticker, like a golden star, maybe a little sucker, or like a fake tattoo. Ooh, Shadow's Table tattoos. It could be like my elbows. It's <laughs> working that. There's this muscle called a flexor digitorum right down the middle of the arch. Kind of helps flex the toes. Are you going to remember any of this? Is it going to be a test at the end of the video? It's going to be a test. You know, for any body workers that are out there watching, or if you're interested in massaging your partner or a stranger, just get their permission first. If there's one huge piece of advice I could give you, it would be to be curious about what you're doing. Instead of just rubbing, it's like, whoa, what's that? You can't move now. I was gonna say, I was gonna say turn over, but. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. You see, that's kind of where his pain was in there. Ooh. Another thing you can do with these cups um, is drag them, stretch out the fascia. It does hurt a little if you put them on there tight. Of course I would put them on there tight, you know, just because that's how I roll. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I'm being sucked up into a vacuum. Okay, face up. Look at that hip at some point. It's, something's missing there. Flip on your right side real quick. Lift your top foot up. Don't want to press down. Don't want to press down. Put that on repeat one more time. Bring your knees up to 90 degrees. Okay, keep your knees together, or actually keep your knees, yeah, closer together. Push your, your, your legs out as far as you can. That one doesn't want to go as far. Does it feel bound up? Yeah. Yeah. So you just got to work that TFL. Look at this guy's face. <laughs> Don't look at it. And just a little cross fiber friction on the TFL. Good. Drop the leg down for me. Good, bring it back up, back down, 
I don't know what you would call this, maybe a muscle energy technique or something, or maybe active release technique. There's too many acronyms, you know, like on your right side. So muscle lacked range and internal rotation. If it lacks range, it usually means it's not gonna test very well. We isolated the muscle that performs the action, and now we're gonna confirm if it did anything. To the same test, knees together, top foot up. Don't let me press down. Don't let me press down. Don't let me press down. You remember how weak that was, right? So he needs to keep massaging this TFL. There's something going on there that's preventing that muscle from working through its full range of motion. Internal rotators is that TFL. Don't give away your secret. I know. Gotta leave the world a better place. Well, you can't do this forever. Feels good to me. How does it feel to you? Good. Does your ankle still hurt here? You'd have to crank it really far for it to hurt now. Okay, that's great, man. So it's come a long way. It's... How would you describe your experience with Shadow's table? Because now, I mean, you've seen me now like 500 million times. Yeah. Now on the 500th time, like, what would you, what would you tell them? Why uh, do you keep coming back? Because it works, oh, and it works. then I can run more. Mm. Why do you think some therapists say it doesn't have to? be that deep or hurt that bad for it to work? I get that question a lot. Why don't you get a relaxing massage for you to solve your problems? I've tried it, it doesn't work. Okay. So I, I just do what works. So you like these? It doesn't have to hurt for it to work. I can absolutely say that I personally get some more relaxing massages now, but they tend to be on the deeper side, but I don't get uh, smashed. And it's definitely not for everyone. So thanks for watching.